Hello, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to set up CEMU, which is a Wii U emulator on your Mac, which is fantastic. We can run Wii U games on the Mac now, especially with, you know, the you know the Macs that have got, you know, the M1 and the M2 chips. There's been a lot of you know, development in the, you know, emulation world with our PCS3, you know, PCSX2, you know the CEMU emulator Ryu Jinx. I'll be doing a Ryu Jinx video as well soon. So yeah, um, let's get down to it. Just want to say this video does not condone piracy. It is for educational purposes. Okay, so first of all, you want to download CEMU. Just search for it. Go to the website, and on here, if you scroll down, by default, you only have the pre 2.0 versions. And they're Windows only. So what you want to do is go to the announcement on Reddit. I will provide actually a direct link to the GitHub page, which is where we need the Mac build from. And go to the GitHub repository. And on here, go to releases. But if you select that release, it won't appear. You need the latest experimental release. And you just click on releases. And here we go. So you click on assets download the macOS.dmg file. I've already got it downloaded right here, so I don't need to download it again. And next thing is checking the compatibility of your game because the emulator is very good, but it's not compatible with everything you know fully playable yet. So go to compatibility, you know, see what's there. So I'm gonna be doing, doo -doo -doo -doo. it's New Super Mario Bros. You and yeah, we got the perfect. So it is a perfect, fantastic. So that's what you want to do. So next, what you want to do is actually install it. To do it, open up your file, drag and drop that into applications. Now that that is done, next what you need to do is open that up. So you can just search for it, see you. And if this appears, don't worry. Just go to your system preferences. Go to security and privacy and in the general tab select open anyway and this is just a tool tip if you download something from the web and you know that pops up in general okay so you can override the mlc path we're not going to the game path will be set in momentarily and the community graphics packs will be doing that soon as well so go to next we can by default you can change these after but by default you can set it so it starts game full screen, automatically check for updates, which is you know one I do like. Open separate pad screen, that's the only one I want enabled. Click close. And now we the CEMU emulator is open. First of all, go to open CEMU folder, and in here we need to add the keys.txt. Can't show you, you know, how to get that for you know legal purposes, but if you literally Google, you know, CEMU keys.txt you know it comes up it's like the github link it, it comes up it's not hard to find to get hold of your games literally just google the name of your game like new super mario bros u with wii u at the end and iso and your pop-up like it's they're not hard to get or you can rip the game yourself so i've got the keys.txt here and there we go some people put the games here you can put it on an external drive i've got a games folder right here that's got both my games in there. Okay, next, what you wanna do is just do some configuration. Go to general settings in here. For the game path, click add, and mine is on the desktop called games, click open, and as you can see, it's detected the games now. Go to graphics and make sure Vulkan is selected. That'll give you the best performance. You can enable VSync if you want to. And for audio, by default, it puts this as, you know, disabled. You can't, it's sometimes it enables it when you launch it. Sometimes it doesn't. if you've got no audio, just come back here, make sure this is, you know, set. That's just, you know, a little tip. And other than that, we're all good to go. You can disable this. That gives you a little, you know, frame rate counter if you don't want it. You can enable a few other diagnostic options as well. And now what you need to do is go to your input settings. And in here, you can put a profile, click save. This is great if you want to have different controller configurations for different games, different genres, different players even. And can select the controller we are emulating. You want to select Wii U Gamepad. The reason for this is because the gamepad is supported on all games, and that's the most recommended one uh, for controller. 
you can still the API if you've got like a controller connected to it like, and it's via X import or you know some other method then it'll appear here otherwise just select keyboard for example which is what I'm doing and the controller is the keyboard click add and now I can you know click and press A it doesn't really show that it's high, you know selected and waiting for you to input something so once you click it you just know that it's done I put X you know why you can do all the others i'm not really gonna do much. i'm gonna leave it at that because i'm just gonna launch the game i'm not gonna really play because i want to keep this video as simple as possible and that's it now we can actually launch the game before you launch it what you can do right click it go to edit graphic packs you can either edit the game profile so i'll have a specific game profile just for this particular game but if you go to edit graphics packs and click download it doesn't take too long now this gives you, you know, title screen crash fix. Allows to be played without the required system files. Only tested to work on the latest updated version. Title screen. So if we, you know, click that. There's some graphics options as well here. There. So yeah, you can enable these if you want to. I'm going to leave that as is now. And now if we double click the game, it launches up. If that happens, if it crashes like so, I find that the CEMU emulator on Mac does that a fair bit you just go back onto it and you just need to you know sometimes do it a few times to be fair see as you can see it has now launched so as of now there's no audio remember I was saying go to general settings go to audio for the device select macbook pro speakers for the tv that's what you're essentially trying to you know get the audio from and now if i click it as you can see there's now audio and that's it so we are now here i'm gonna you know close the game down and that's it it's as simple as that to run we u games on your mac if you have any questions Feel free to, you know, comment down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and join the Discord group. There's a link in the description. Almost 9,000 members now and a community that's growing every day. You can ask any question that you want about this video or any files or anything there as well. And let me know what the videos you'd like to see next and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.